everybody, how you doing? Really great story from the weekend. Dallas Braden is a pitcher for the Oakland A's. He pitched a perfect game against the Tampa Bay Rays on Mother's Day. And what made this story real special? Dallas Braden lost his mother when he was in high school due to cancer. His grandmother helped raise him. Sometimes they stayed together in hotel rooms when things weren't going well. And after he pitched his perfect game, his grandmother came on the field. It was really emotional. They hugged. It's great to see that kind of stuff. Now before this perfect game, Dallas Braden was best known for yelling at Alex Rodriguez. A-Rod hit a foul ball, or actually was on first base, and when a foul ball was hit, he was going back to first base and crossed the pitcher's mound. Dallas Braden had a problem with this and proceeded to yell at A-Rod, get off of my mound, which I think is awesome. Sometimes I even say that in public to people who rub me the wrong way and they don't know what I'm talking about, but it's still great, get off my mound. But seriously, I love that with Dallas Braden. If someone rubs you the wrong way, even if it's a player as accomplished as A-Rod, let them know, give them an earful, you're out there to compete. But now Dallas Braden's not known just for that. He's a guy who pitched a perfect game. He's one of only 19 pitchers in Major League history to accomplish this. Think about that. Baseball's been around forever. There have been a million games played, and this has only happened 19 times. And when Dallas Braden finished this perfect game, I thought about the movie Reservoir Dogs. There's a character, Mr. Blonde, which is played by Michael Madsen. And Madsen says in the movie at one point, you gonna bark all day, little doggy, or are you gonna bite? I don't know if that's the best impression, but think about how that applies to Dallas Braden. He's no longer the guy who just barked at A-Rod. He's the guy who pitched a perfect game. It's not about what you say, it's about what you do. And he's backing up his words with some solid results. I'm Brian No, and that's a no-brainer.